everyone, Sarian here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Coffee Talk. So, in our last episode, our favorite pop sensation Rachel makes a visit to our humble cafe. She seems to be well off, and even has a single coming out. I've already ordered my light stick, and I've memorized all the choreography. The lovely banshee, Riona, also drops in, and the two get to exchange contact info after Rachel heard her beautiful voice. It's good to see Riona warming up to people, even though people online haven't been the nicest to her. He also saw Gala for a bit, he's been busy with work, and popped in for a quick drink. Alright, let's continue. Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. Almost forgot what year it was. What's in the Evening Whispers tonight? A petition to combine Halloween and Christmas gains traction. Why? I think I know why. It was the nightmare before Christmas. Uh, tactical survival game Kriegsfront 4, Final Front set to release next year. And Belltown Man caught after attempting to outrun police with a Segway. <laughs> I haven't seen a Segway in decades. Oh no. Seems like we're out of ginger. Ah. Hyde, Mr. Hyde. Welcome. Hello, spicy boy. It's nice to see you again. How are you? Ah, uh, well, I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. Right, sorry about that. I just learned we're out of ginger. Oh? I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Tut tut. Sounds like a rookie mistake, spicy boy. I know, I'm ashamed. Our storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really busy as usual, I see. Yes, well... <laughs> nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week, if I may say so myself. Oh? Well, I'm listening. Pardon? You're weak. Tell me all about it. Oh! <laughs> um, I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. Well, the most notable problem recently would be these severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our powers to short out, which uh, messes with the machines. So, in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning duly noted. There's also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently, there's a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. Is that a new customer now? Sounds eventful, even if not terribly riveting. Now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about... Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Hmm. I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... I can answer that. Hey, Georgie. There's nothing to worry about, your car's gonna be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome. Hey, spicy boy. I managed to track and narrow down the Vandal's strike zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Really? Yep, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me her car was affected as well, by the way. 
that so? If she comes back, can you ask her where she parked? Will do. Appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say this area's pretty safe. So you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was, uh, finishing off my last cigarette. Because it's, uh, time to start a new one. Do you mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde, uh, meet Officer Georgie. Have you met before? He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Cheers. Officer Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Ah. The big hospital guy. Then I guess I've seen you around a bunch. A Los Angelano, eh? Los Angelino? <laughs> Not for much longer, though. Oh? I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. That's wonderful news. You lived here before? Mm-hmm. For about 40 years. When did you move to LA, then? Around 20 years ago. Right. Huh. <laughs> Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Oh. Models, vampires. Gotcha. <laughs> then as a native Seattleite, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and our skies. But at least our coffee is second to none. Right, spicy boy? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then, have you moved in already, or...? Not yet. Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. If you never need help, let me know. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a... Uh, contentious relationship in the past. Uh-oh. Was it a slap on the wrist and let's call it a day type of thing? Or the catch you, catch me kind? <laughs> All I can say is, live long enough, you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? So, does anyone want something to drink? Of course. Naturally. Uh, after you. Well, uh, public servant should put the citizens first. So, after you. How idealistic. But I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What will it be, officer? Just give me something nice, spicy boy. Are you alright? Ah, uh, not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now. I got a question for you. Did you, by any chance, see a lighter lighting around? Oh. Yes, I did. I have it with me. Phew. That's a relief. Okay, Spicy Boy, listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Uh, okay. I'll need that lighter back, okay? Uh, okay. I mean it. I need it back. Or the streak of bad luck won't end. Pardon? Alright, it's his good luck charm. 
just, uh, talking to myself. Uh, okay, yeah, I understand. Appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened. Okay. Lightly sweet. Sweet coffee. Is that right? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else that's uh, a light sweetener, so... That's gotta be it, right? Gotta make sure he has his good luck charm back. Finally. Hello, old friend. Thanks, spicy boy. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I told you before, right? This lighter's my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Broke the missus' favorite mug. Nearly swerved my car into the sidewalk because of a black cat jumped into my lane. A black cat? Not even a raccoon. I swear I'm not making this up. If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what is. And well... Daughter's still mad at me too. <sighs> anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, spicy boy. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. Cheers, spicy boy. That really hits the spot. I'm glad to hear that. Ready to make your order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, hmm. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh? They're butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that's easily pal palatable when using a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. Are you sure? We're missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and... Who knows? Maybe it can be my new, uh, blue wine. Blue wine? It's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here. Back when it was still a bar. Ah, I see. Make me a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. A bold and red drink. Okay. Well... Something bold. Hmm... I guess that's pretty bold, it's pretty bitter. Let's see... What does this make? A uh, mint lemon hibiscus. Why is it purple? That's weird. That's definitely not what I was looking for. Hibiscus tea? Maybe? It's red. It's very red. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Uh, something red. So, this is a drink you thought I might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. It looks peculiar enough. Hmm. How is it? It's tart. Astringent. D do you like it? You tell me. Ah, <sighs> and I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry that it isn't what you expected. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time, you could try making me something that doesn't taste like hay juice. It needs some boldness. Something that can leave a mark in me. 
There's only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can come close. I'll try my best next time. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, hey, Lucas. Hey, kid. Hmm. Hmm. There. <sighs> Damn. Oh. Oh, dang. Hello, spicy boy. Pops, nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me? Oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. You know what? Let me move over there. There we go. Sorry about earlier. I was <laughs> preoccupied. No problem. Is everything all right? Yeah, of course. I'm always all right, always. Because I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? Miss Riona? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your written contact info. Okay, okay, cool. She didn't throw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great. You trying to reach the soprano lass? That's right, Pops. I still feel uneasy about how that day went. So, I just want to apologize to her or something, you know? Okay. So, I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? I think so, yeah. But what if she doesn't contact me? Uh, what should I do? Then, that's that. That's her choice. <laughs> You're so right, Pops. I wonder if it was a good idea to give her the email instead of the, uh, the fidget spinner. <laughs> Didn't think of you as someone who'd have trouble reaching out to people like this. <laughs> I know, right? It is what it is. Okay, then. I'll wait. Any hoodle, it's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Uh, hello to you, too, uh... Sir? Hmm. Hide. It's hide. Hmm. Wait, so you're really that hide? The supermodel hide? A big shot, eh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. I never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. Uh, no offense to you, spicy boy. Well, <laughs> I follow your socials, man. Big fan. I especially love the Timeless series you did for Boundless. Hmm. That's an old one. Boundless? It was a lifestyle magazine, no longer in print. Because everything is online these days. What was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. They were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the exhibition fell through. So they were rethemed and put in the magazine instead. <laughs> yeah, those were awesome. Hmm. I liked how the series showed peak fashion through the times. Yet the designs were so contemporary. Timeless even. Unintended. I'd love to see that. Wait, let me show you a couple pics from it. Whoa, it looks great there, colorless or not. Ah, damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> you looked amazing, Mr. Hyde. Not that you don't look amazing now. Still do. Uh, of course. <laughs> it was so cool. It inspired me to find my own style, too. I'm partial to the 80s inspired look myself. Really? I can't tell. It's my jacket collection. <laughs> Glad it helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. 
even if only in garment form. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. But I digress. Uh huh? Would you like to order anything? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, by the way? Is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago. I felt a tad nauseous. Did you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah, you gotta eat. <laughs> uh, that was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted. Thanks. Then, can I get a pumpkin latte? Uh... Sorry, we don't have that here. Ah, for real? You know you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? Oh, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. I just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off a of pumpkin latte with what you have? Uh... I don't have ginger at all, so... <laughs> You're kind of out of luck, kid. Maybe the primary ingredient should be cinnamon? What do we got? What do we got? A cinnamon milk coffee. Okay, how about... Milk first. What then? Ooh, cinnamon latte. Alright, uh, forget the latte art, right, let's just serve it. <laughs> A cinnamon latte, warm and sweet, just for you. Sounds good! Mm-hmm, good call on the cinnamon. It is the star spice of the fall season, after all. Oh yeah, you're right, like pumpkin lattes. The warmth cheers me right up. Thanks, spicy boy. Don't mention it. So, what's the matter? Huh? Why do you need cheering up, kid? Oh, about that. J just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Ah. I review a lot of lifestyle things, like fashion, places, food, etc. on the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also? <laughs> no, no, Pops. <laughs> no way. Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. Uh, but yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So, you're essentially the creator and the host of your show. What does your team do? My team helps me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great. I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. Hmm. I currently reside in LA. For real? I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? <laughs> Why I moved? <laughs> hmm. I mean... Because I... Hated it there? Not to crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why did you hate it there? <sighs> it's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers here. 
They're loud, young, and brazen. Just like you. I yeah? The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. So, what's the issue? Well... I've talked about my channel situation here before, right? Yeah, you said your views were dwindling. <laughs> Calling it dwindling might be a bit overkill, but yeah. That's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though, I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year. Once I got a certain number of viewers, I was just gonna do it. Was? <sighs> well, uh, I've always wanted to do a talent showcase segment, you know? So I could help elevate others like me. Others like you? Yeah. Like the soprano lady from before. Like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. We all actually kind of have something in common. You know what it is? I'll make it easier for you. Uh, think about Satyrs, for example. Spicy boy, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hmm. Don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. How about you, Pops, sir? Probably partying, recklessness, alcoholism, or a joke, right? Is that what you think? No, but that's what most of society thinks. In the same way society views Lady Riona as bad luck personified. All just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides, society is awful at judging people. The immediate trust that they have for those who have money. Compared to those who had to start from zero. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it, you know? Etiquette, social cues, and awareness, that sort of thing. What nurtures you when you grow up, when growing up, reflects these things. That's what most people like to assume anyways. And like, I get it. Nobody has any time to learn about everybody. So, we go by impressions. But as someone who started from zero and now, the difference on how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know? Of course. So, yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I could give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. Then, once again, I ask you, what is the issue? <sighs> my team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they said. They just want me to improve what I've been doing. And you agree? Uh, I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least, until we become so big that it any slight changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Um... You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But, uh, given the pace at which you're going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. <sighs> well... A little blunt, are we? Am I wrong, though? It is a perspective. You know, one of many. 
I admit I don't know much about the entertainment biz. But you've gotten this far, boy. Because all along you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Ain't that right? Uh, yeah. That's why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. He's, uh, well, <laughs> they are probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentler then? Nah, I needed the whipping. <laughs> Those words were hard to swallow, but I need to hear them. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well, there's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And thanks for your advice, sir. Spicy boy, thank you too. Hang in there. Yeah, y'all too. See you around. Well, I've stayed too long already. So I better go do my work now. Don't want to get at my pay doc, you see? Nice meeting you, Hyde. We'll see each other more often soon, I'm sure. Hopefully nothing, uh, work-related. <laughs> Have a good night, officer. You too, spicy boy. Be safe out there, officer. Will do. Until next time. Hide? Hi. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do. Hmm? Hmm. Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Uh... Not great luck. Alright, we'll have to give it back to him again. Oh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him, thank you. All right, then. Have a good evening yourself, spicy boy. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. All right, I think that's where we're going to leave our episode for today. It's interesting to find out what motivates Lucas to do what he does. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Please remember to take care of yourself today, and I'll see you next time. Take care.